can see where he got his hand on the door here when he's banging on the door. And he sits there and he says, I'm dying. Patrick McMillan shows us how he found his landlord early Sunday morning, crouching over bleeding with a samurai sword through his chest. He banged on my door and I woke up and came out. He said, I'm dying and he had blood squirting out of him and that sword sticking through him. McMillan says his 80 year old landlord, Kurt Lind, had been brutally attacked by other tenants of the Vallejo property, who Lind was in the process of evicting because they hadn't paid rent in years. They've been here for three years and they wouldn't leave and it's taken him a long time to get into court and get, you know, an eviction notice on him. They found out about the eviction notice. They figured, I guess, if they killed him that they, he couldn't be evicted. But McMillan says Lind had a gun and shot two of his attackers. There was one that was shot dead and the other had three bullets in her. This whole thing is, is just, it's bizarre. It's, it's, it's not, it's like it doesn't feel real. Carl Lind can't believe what his father has endured. He says the tenants had basically taken over the property and taken advantage of his father's generosity. And he just wanted this as a place to let artists or woodworkers or electricians be able to come and live um, in a little in a trailer and then have a little container next to it where they could do work and have put their tools and have a safe place. I've known him for what 15 years and he will help anybody and he is always getting taken advantage of these people that he helps. He just doesn't understand that no good deed goes unpunished. Kurt Lind is recovering from multiple stab wounds and his family says he may lose an eye. Police say two people are now in custody on murder charges. In Vallejo, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.